All right, guys, welcome back to the most inconsistent YouTube channel. Uh, I haven't posted in two weeks, and the last video was pretty bad. I uh, I, I took a little trip on over to Wish.com, and I bought some of the most egregious anime figures that I could possibly find. I, you know, I've seen other people do this, uh, and yes, I am copying them. Thank you for asking. Yeah, so I tried to buy figures that I already have so we could actually compare them, because a lot of these, you know, videos where they buy Wish anime figures, they don't actually compare them, and it's kind of a pointless video. So, here's our, our bag of goodies straight from China. Here's all my information. No. So there's supposed to be, I ordered 10 figures. I can tell some of these are not in boxes, even though they were supposed to come in boxes. I definitely, I, you know, I, I know I got ripped off, but it's fine. So we're just going to cut in. And we're going to see which ones actually came with boxes and which ones are just uh, wrapped in, in plastic crap. That is... Just a duct taped box, that's cool. And I didn't think there would be more uh, shipping labels on the inside, so I am gonna have to blur some of these out, I guess. Oh, it's it's a styrofoam block covered in tape, that's great. Now I'm gonna get, really fucking cool. <laughs> get styrofoam all over the place. Don't hit your fingers. Like... That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, this is the worst. Oh, you smell that? No. It smells just perfect. By that I mean... <laughs> was the gimbal dying? Uh, yep, I- yeah. I charged it all night! Did it actually die die? I, just keep it- is it still recording? Lock. Yeah, just keep it. I- so the thing is, I don't know which one this is. I'm gonna be real. Oh, that's such a stu- okay. Oh, this might be okay. This might be a couple of the rented girlfriend figures. Oh, this might be all the rented girlfriend figures. Okay, this is these are the rented girlfriend figures. Um, so we'll just take this off to the side for now. It just smells so bad. Um, so this is Chizuru. We'll move that to the side for now because I don't have that one actually. So first up, we have the Sumi Sakura Sawa. Already, you can tell the paint is all kinds of fucked up. It's it's pretty bad. Um, I didn't. I don't know that it's like. Yeah, no. All the all the paint on her stockings is like coming off. The paint on her shoes is all like messed up. Her face is honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. There's a lot of molding lines on her head. You can tell they definitely just took like an official one and then made a mold out of it. I have the real one right here. Um, yeah, it's pretty night and day, right? First of all, it's the wrong size. I guess it would probably have to be the stand that's doing that because it's a shorter stand and it doesn't have the little foot support thing. The skirt is kind of the wrong shape. Uh, everything's just a little bit wrong, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it, it's a smaller scale, even even not withholding the, the stand size. Pretty bad. Um, I don't have Chizuru, but we're just gonna look at the Chizuru because it, you know, it looks bad. I should have bought this one, honestly, just for comparison's sake. Jesus. Okay, so she's not wearing any socks at all based on her they kind of just put her in high heels, but it's all it's all kind of blending together. Her eyes look fing ridiculous and her face is like all misshapen. Her hair just kind of looks gross. And I'm just rested my elbow on a blade, that's cool. Um yeah, and you know, it doesn't come across through or it doesn't come through in the video, but these things have an unreal stench to them. Well, you you have tonsillitis or whatever the f I don't know. Um, this one kind of looks better than the other ones. My camera guy here isn't into anime, so he... he Not really. He's yeah, an impartial... Into yeah. Don't watch Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> don't. Just don't. I... I... Too late. So, what do you mean? You've seen Rent a Girlfriend? Actually, wait, no, I haven't. Sorry, I confused something with a different one. We would have had words if you had been withholding this information from me. Okay, so here's... Mommy. And here's the real one, this is the fake one. Um, I mean, you can just tell, they're all the wrong size. Her feet are kind of in completely different spots. So I don't know that, I don't know if they're taking like a mold of this and like sizing it down or if they're just kind of copying this one. It's just like all the little details are kind of lost. And the eyes are kind of just terrifying. Same with the mouth. They did a pretty bad job. Now, um, the last one, is my uh, best girl Ruka. That's a controversial opinion because everybody hates Ruka. Why do so, you like this character so much, Ruka? To like a non uh, anime an, fan. To like a non anime fan. Yeah. She has the most interesting story, like backstory. I mean, I don't know. The more I read, I do like Chizuru, but 
I have a hard time kind of sympathizing with her. Just because it's like they bill her as being the perfect character for so many episodes. And then Ruka's like not a perfect character at all and she has flaws and you know. Here is the real one and here is the fake one. Yeah, it's like the little details, like the white part of her shirt is all kind of like, you can't really tell, you know, that there is supposed to be detail in that. I'd say this is the best so far out of all of them. Face-wise, at least, it looks the most like the character it's trying to portray. Same with, you know, some of the colors, but there's sloppy, you know, injection molding lines everywhere. Um, the necklace is painted the wrong color. That kind of stuff. And, you know, fun fact, this even was a broken figure when I bought it. Um, I bought it at Anime Expo Chibi, but the guy didn't tell me that she was broken at the ankle, so we had to fix it ourselves. But, yeah, so... It's pretty night and day, I'd say. The worst part of these figures is definitely the faces. They're just like the wrong proportion to like the characters. Is the next box um, another shipping label? Awesome. So yeah, I was kind of led under the impression that a lot of these would come in like knockoff boxes, um, but they they didn't. They're kind of just in styrofoam. Oh man. Okay, what is this? Okay. So this is another Ruka figure. So these cost, um, I wanna say $20 for all four. This one was like 10. So technically by that standard, it should be a higher quality figure. Um, but you know, somehow I doubt that. Uh, what am I gonna do with these things? I don't know. Throw them away probably. Them. Give them to a Rent-A-Girlfriend fan and pretend they're real. So uh, keep in mind, these are not the most fugly ones uh, on that I bought. Uh, these are generally kind of like the most normal looking ones. So first of all, her purse fell out of her hands and there's no way for it to go back in. If you just compare it, <laughs> it to that, there's literally no way to get... The hand... I don't want to like flash your panties. Oh. The hand mold is like closed off. So this, um, this bag of hers does not even fit in her hand. So... There's a there's hint number one that it's not exactly the greatest of a uh, quality there. Okay, so somehow this is worse than the other ones, even though it costs more than, than they would individually, because the bag doesn't fit, and she's actually like gonna fall over because of the weight of her bending over this far. And the face is like not particularly great. It's the wrong scale. Yeah, it's not. Stop panning up to my face, I'm sweating so much. It's not great. The next one. I don't know what the next one's gonna be, but I'm going to assume this is Sailor Moon, just because of how small it is. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. So it's Nino from Quintessential Quintuple. Jesus, okay, that just doesn't even look like her. Oh God. So for starters, the little base she comes with has two extra pegs for somebody's feet. I don't know whose. Um, her face is 100% crooked. You know, there's very inconsistent paint lines all over the place, terrible molding, and her glasses don't even have lenses. They're just kind of empty, hollow, whereas these ones actually have their lenses. Yeah, her hair is crooked too. This is, it's pretty bad. Uh, at the end, I'll I'll say how much all these cost. Um, yeah, that looks fugly. And it, I, it's kind of weird how these are all like the wrong scale too. Like if you're copying, you know, just another mold, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to just get it correct, but whatever. I wonder what this one is. This feels like a really shitty Christmas. Like there was a sale on Timu and and, and your grandmother didn't know Timu was like a scam website. And, and she's just like, I got you so many things for Christmas. I know you love anime. I know you love all those anime waifus or whatever you call them. And then she got you a bunch of shitty fuck figures and you're really sad now. That's how I feel, I feel really sad. Uh, I caught a glimpse. This is one of the fugliest figures I saw that I could possibly find. So um, those of you who have seen Chainsaw Man, it, it's not the same figure. They did have this figure, but it was like 20 bucks and it's like, that's how much this one cost. So no fucking way was I spending retail on a bootleg figure. But that's how power's supposed to look. Uh, a nauseating smell, first of all, but this is what, this is what they say. Wow. So she's supposed to be like a, new, a, a ramen topper or something. And she came with her cat, um, but do you see this? She's squeezing her tits. Yeah, that's just something she does. I'm saying look at her face. It's terrible. Yeah. It's f***ing egregious. You know, compare it to what power is supposed to look like. 
hair color is wrong first mm -hmm. of all um second of all there's no these these have to be original because there's no figures where she's wearing this and in this pose there was another version of her in this outfit but doing a different pose um, but i went with this one because the face looked more fugly um yeah it's just cool. straight up terrifying i think this is sailor moon uh i don't have an exact duplicate of this one. Oh, it's tiny is that tanjiro no way oh okay what no way okay so there are figures of the quintessential quintuplets in wedding dresses um and they're about this tall <laughs> and they're usually supposed to be like like up to here maybe so yeah um i mean it's not the worst but it doesn't really look like Nino that much. Okay, so this is the third time I'm gonna say that this is Sailor Moon, but it's I'm probably gonna you know be wrong again. It was Sailor Moon. Okay, this was I believe um, I'm gonna say two dollars. It's just a lot of crap. So you, so this has uh, assembly required. Um, I guess this goes uh, here. That's never gonna stay. So she's supposed to have a necklace. Um, She's supposed to just have a necklace on, but uh, they painted it skin color, so she's got some sort of goiter. Yeah, her neck is... If you look at her from the front, it's very obvious they didn't quite do the proportioning correctly. Uh, I don't know what this is based off of. Um, also, she's not wearing underwear. It's all just skin color. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to be based off of, but I couldn't find a legit figure that this is supposed to mimic. This it's pretty is... cool. Yeah, for $2, you know, um, you're thinking, Oh my god, I'm destroying the earth by buying this, quite frankly. Uh, it also has her moon rod, but it's all its all the wrong color. Now we have our last figure. It is going to be Tanjiro from uh, Demon Slayer. You know, this is like underground anime that I'm sure none of you have ever heard of, Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. So he's... <laughs> uh, he just straight up doesn't... The pegs don't fit his feet. Um, look at the pattern. It's supposed to be checkered, <laughs> but it's all like f***ed up mm -hmm. and it's just like <laughs> it's so bad. His face, he's got like, there's no detail on his nose, so he just looks like f***ing Krillin from Dragon Ball. His sword is just all melted and it's just in one sheath. It's all, oh, okay, he does come with a sword. I guess it goes behind his head. Granted, this is not what uh, Tanjiro's sword looks like at all. Um, Tanjiro has a black sword, but that's pretty bad. I, I'd say the worst part is the jacket. Because here's, okay, here's an actual Tanjiro figure. And that's what the back of his jacket is supposed to look like. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Not the same figure. I could have bought the same one, but that would have cost money. Yeah, that's pretty f***ing bad. Um, I'm going to reveal the prices of all of these. Tanjiro is $5.19. Sailor Moon was $2.78. Power was $9.77, which is 100% a ripoff. This Aruka was $13.28. Now, mind you, you could probably find the legitimate figure for around that price, if not maybe $5 more. So, you know, this is not, this is 100%, you know, to trick people into, into buying this crap. Mm -hmm. um, this was $8.33, and for $10 more, you can get the legitimate figure. This was $4.01, so this costs less, or costs more than this, which doesn't make much sense. And then all uh, four of the Rent a Girlfriend girls, all of these, I wasted $32.85 on these. And now, to be fair, they look better than all the other ones but uh they're still not real so i did get <laughs> i got ripped off but you know i got ripped off on purpose to make the video i kind of regret <laughs> i kind of regret spending so much money on all these but you know anything for youtube right thank you guys for watching i'll do this again if you want me to maybe some other shows maybe l a little bit less of a focus on rent your girlfriend but that's just where my brain is at the moment so yeah if you want to see this again let me know uh, if you don't want to see it again, which I urge you that you shouldn't want me to see this again. Okay, well this is muted the entire time. No.